screaming because we're getting ready to go. We can start telling the world it's time for weird things. Fact here. I'm gonna we'll play that create we'll play that kooky music. Let's see. Oh shit, I gotta check my sources. And check my outputs. I gotta make sure my outputs are not well, sending to you know? Okay, right on. I think we're good. I'm on everything but the Twitch. Is the restroom now? Yeah, yeah, take a break. Everyone. I just put a urinal in right here. It's great. We'll be back. No, it's right here. We're, we're going to start the Weird Things podcast. I'm going to melt your face. Everyone could show up and just see this. What? 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 Do it, do it, do it to me straight, Doctor. Can I get a video feed from you? I don't know if he's there. Oh my god. I'm totally tweeting out that we're Rack, about to I get go. a video feed from you, please. Oh shit. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, you got it. Uh, here we go. Hey guys, dot dot. Are, are we live on Diamond Club? We are. Oh, Alpha Geek Ugh. Radio. Yeah, let me do Alpha Geek Radio too. All right, Alpha Geek Radio. So much responsibility. So many things that we got to click on. Uh, which one should we do? Oh, it says we're live. Are we on channel two or channel one? Justin? I am here. Yeah. Somebody will tell me. That's this is the way these things work. But I guess if nobody's on channel one, let me do settings. Alpha Geek One says weird things. Uh, morning stream archive. So channel one. I guess we can switch over to weird things. Thing is happening. All right. So it's got to be channel two then, which it says we're already live on. 
Hey but, guys, if I take off my shirt and dance with some glow sticks, is that okay? Heck yeah! Uh, do, do you know what it is we're listening to, by the way? Um, this is uh, Neshkom's album uh, based on the movie DOA. It's a musical interpretation of it. Uh, it's a guy, uh, uh, DOA is a movie about a guy who gets poisoned and he has like 24 oh, hours to... I, I'm familiar with DOA. Okay, all right. Centerpiece right. locations is the what? What? La Brea Tar Pit? Oh, is it? I didn't even know. Okay. Let's see. Alpha Geek 2, theoretically, I should be connecting to. That's cool music. Uh, so, so is it uh, Diamond Club TV? Maybe have sex with a robot, too. Live now for a special edition Weird Things podcast with a big old fat announcement. And that's, uh, uh, so we are live on Diamond Club, right? DC TV? Yes, live on DC TV. Boom. Boom. Tweeted. Uh, it's not working out real well with the. It stop. Try it like this. It stop. Have to keep one. New things. I don't seem to have the skills <laughs> to cause. Wait, this... what? What's happening? I, I'm trying to figure out which channel to post our stuff on for weird things for uh, Alpha Geek. Yeah. Not sure, dude. Ugh. Um. So just just so you guys know, I do have like I gotta I gotta do another thing at four. All right, all right. We'll make it uh, we'll make it rain very quickly. Uh, we're gonna have to skip uh, butt. Uh, we'll have to skip, skip Alpha Geek Radio. I'm ready to go if you guys are. We could do an abbreviated, shorter video. We do a. I mean, we'll go 50 minutes, which is not weird for us. Okay, all right, yeah. well, look. Let me, let me kill this. Let's just get this thing started. Uh, sorry, Alpha Geek Radio. I can't figure out how to go on that channel for you. Um. So instead, we'll launch this. We'll set this here. We'll set levels real quick. Uh, I'm going to say hello. Check, 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 check. One, two. Turning myself down. And then, uh, Andrew, let me hear you, buddy. Hello. I'm Andrew. This is my, oh, hey, hey, microphone right over here. Right, okay, keep talking. Keep talking. I'm a professional doing this professionally. Yeah, you are. Justin, let me hear you, buddy. Yo, 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 yo. I'm talking, talking right now, talking, hello, hello, hi, I'm talking, hey, what's going on? Awesome. Uh, great, so we're deleting everything, and we're going to go live with the Weird Things Podcast in five, four, three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Weird Things Podcast. I'm Andrew Main, joined by Mr. Brian Brushwood. Man, I wish I did steroids, because then I'd have an excuse for how amped up I am right now. I'm on fire right now. And Justin Robert Young. Man, I wish I did steroids, because then I'd have an excuse for my small testicles. <laughs> gentlemen. Gentlemen. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know don't, why I don't introduced tease. you guys. Don't tease it. Don't tease it. Jump straight in. We got a headline for all the weirdos and, and weird ladies and the goblins and ghouls watching right now. Uh, I'm just going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to jump in line. I'm going to say, head on over. To patreon.com slash weird things because we want to make this a regular gig. It's been it's been five years of us dancing around, chit-chatting, and half assing, and now we're ready to make this a real show. Folks, ever the trailblazers, we've started a Patreon for our podcast. And uh it, it's about time someone did. And we're uh, very happy to be the first people ever. To uh, to use this platform for a <laughs> podcast. It's, I'll tell you what, though, it's man, a, it's like it's like for five years. It's OK. First of all, number one, we all love doing the weird things podcast. Number two, we have almost actively tried to make this podcast unsuccessful by yeah. doing ridiculous, stupid stuff like not doing it for months at a time. 
We've really violated like all the core ways that we, if you, if you are advising somebody to just get into podcasting, like the things that you say are a release it on the same day all yeah. the time. We've Always. never done that. Never did at all at any time for any significant uh, portion. Uh, do it regularly. Nope. Uh, uh, sorry that we definitely go black on uh, our production schedule randomly and sometimes for months at a time. Well, uh, also, you know, it's a matter of show prep or whatever, because this has always been a labor of love. Like, like we've never the most we've ever tried to make this a professional thing was when we said we would accept up to thirty dollars for a 10 second ad. <laughs> and then we got guilty and we gave them away for free because yeah, we, we got started behind. Doing it for free. So here's the thing is, is if you watch our Patreon video, what we want to do is actually allocate a budget for it. Like, like. The reason we're so terrible is because there's no money in it. But once there's money in it, we'll show up every day <laughs> or, or every every week releasing on time. We'll be able to allocate a budget to an actual producer who will so make like, sure. So I was literally doing show prep as you guys were talking right now. All right. Can I tell you That's that? That's the last time right. that'll happen, By the way, sir. what we are doing right now, if you're watching live, is Brian is going to confirm this page and we are going to actually make the Patreon live. Oh, is it not live? It is not live. Oh, I'm glad you told this me. This is the problem, folks. <laughs> this is how bad we are. This is how important it is that we, that, that, that we do it. All right, so uh, so what do I have to do to confirm the page? <laughs> Save and continue. Now let me just hit launch. There it goes. It's launched. It's launched right now. Uh, allegedly. I guess we'll figure out if uh, somebody will tell us. This is There we go. Here's I the am, important I am uh, about to become a dollar. A dollar donor? Dollar donor. So here's the thing is we're going to be able to start paying people to keep us on task. Some of the rewards that we figured out is number one. The first reward is we'll do it every single week from now on. <laughs> and number two, uh, we'll have better organized show notes. We'll release the video feed. We uh, uh, What were some of the other things we came up with? We, uh, we were talking about... Um, uh, doing more investigations, special events. May and I, Bri? May I? May yeah, I? yeah, please, go. This is what we want to do for you. This is what we want to do for you. Like I said, every week, every week, we will have episodes, right? Then what we'll do is we'll have video. So you guys watching this right now, other people will get to see this because we'll actually record it and put it out there for the universe to see. Not only that, maybe once a week, one of us, maybe not all three of us, maybe sometimes all three of us, but we can't promise all three, one of us, or maybe one of our correspondents, who knows, Google Hangout, free for all, about weird stuff, about some topic, maybe well, something in interactive, news. interactive, right? It's like people wish, a lot of times people compare what we do on Weird Things podcast to, to playing Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm sure that it would be fun for them to have a seat at the table, basically. Like they yeah, would yeah, join uh, you us. know, put them into the mind games or what have you. So we'll have that going on, right? Then we'll take notes. We'll do show notes, like Bry said. We'll put show notes so you can actually see what's going on. And we got some kind of cool levels, too. For instance, I have a secret email list that has only, besides myself, only two other people. I cannot name them who's on that secret email list. <laughs> only two other people are on there that I share really weird things and stuff. Uh, they Okay. Wait, wait, first of all, like what he means is, there are links and stories and comments that Andrew, for whatever reason, doesn't want to share out to the world on Twitter. So he only sends them to Justin and I. And it's probably my favorite. Andrew's, Andrew's a television star with a, with a book out. Every time I, I go to airports across the country, I see Angel Killer right there on those bookends <laughs> facing out to the general public. He just can't have on his Twitter, nine posts consecutively about goblins rampaging Africa. Like, <laughs> or or, or uh, Elon Musk's, uh, you know, secret drinking habits or whatever he finds. Like, it's it's just like... It, it really, it is it is remarkable uh, what Andrew finds. So you can have access to that. Uh, there's copious show notes that, that come out of this show. And really, the only thing that we ever do is just sort of, I take down basic notes for the description of the episode itself, and I pass that on to Cheeto, who posts the episodes. We have pics, obviously, but there's a lot of stuff that, if just kind of typed out in a bullet point form, is like an amazing digest for weird news if you just were even to read it or, or forward it along. So, but now we'll be able to do, we'll be able to take, you know, the video. Make a stream, a podcast channel, if you will. Oh, shoot. You can... By the way, this I, I just realized I should be recording this video. I'm going to press record. The video just started. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so our first post will occur a, a, midway a through the episode. Again, is really the a number one reason why we want to have a Patreon. Like this is not a cash in for us. This is us just giving somebody money so they can make us do things. <laughs> well, just so, just having an excuse to treat it like a real job because we've never done that before. Well, also what we want to do is like you know we. We'd like to do more events, more investigations. Scheduling that stuff is hard because you, these three idiots, trying to coordinate is is problematic. It's not you know, working out so hot, is what you're saying. Brian didn't even have kids until Bonnie explained he had to be in the same city for certain <laughs> aspects of that to happen. Right? We want to make more investigations happen, more stuff happen, and that's going to happen with a little bit more structure. And then I don't know, maybe we do a thing where everybody can come hang out. Wait, are you talking about a weirdthings.con? A weirdthings.con is indeed what I'm talking about, Brian. I mean, I but, see, it would be well, great. And this is something that we've we've talked about a lot because, you know, there there's amazing opportunities to to meet with people. And and we've had, you know, South by Southwest and Nerdtacular and Dragon Con, obviously, for for NSFW and Night Attack have been gigantic opportunities. But I think what we have here with weird things, both in audience and in creativity, is something unique and that we could do an amazing kind of one day get together that isn't just us sitting around and talking to you, but is a collaborative, amazing experience that we could have at a haunted house. We've had a lot of really, really fun ideas on where we can host something like this. And it's all where people were once murdered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that is the rate, unifying factor, murder. <laughs> We've got a lot of crazy cool ideas, things of like what we would do. Like what would we do that we haven't seen before? What would be cool if you got your most crazy, creative, weird friends together? You know, oh my for God, we should we should stage our own weird things hoax. We should we should uh, fake a fake a UFO. Like 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 we should live blog and live stream us uh, a friend of mine. Uh, used to take uh, dry cleaner bags, and I'm sure this is terribly unsafe and a bad idea uh, nowadays, but he would take a, a dry cleaner bag and tie three strings to it, put a little uh, ashtray at the bottom, pour a little gasoline in the ashtray, light the gasoline so it filled up the bag with hot air, and then just let it go up just so he could create... Uh, a strange light hovering over the city Brian, just to freak I don't, people I out. I don't want to put water on this. Um, and, and I have done that too with, with balloons and light sticks and stuff. But sure. in the age of drones, not what? as cool as it was 10 years ago. We have better. We have better. And I will tell you my ideas for hoax oh, offline. Dude. Okay, great. Good, good, and good. Then people around us here want to be part of it do that. But yes, we can do some fun, fun, fun stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy cool stuff. And it's just a matter of just getting things organized. Yeah, and uh, it turns out that we need somebody who's not us. That's the, that's the qualifier that we need is for it well, not I, I, to be and us. Let's, like, can, can we can we do the real quick the the obligatory uh, Patreon dance that we're launching a Patreon dance? Oh sure, uh, we have to explain so. what Patreon is. We're launching a Patreon, and this is the thing we say when we launch a Patreon. You don't have to support us if you don't want to. It's always going to be for free. But if you want money for me and Brian and Andrew, then you can go to Patreon slash Weird Things and give us any money that you want, even a penny. You can give us any money you want if you can afford it. Yeah! And and it's great. Let's mention too that when we were talking about how we're going to do weird things con, the idea is how do we make this free or get rid of whatever charges we can. We the, the conversation we had was, what if we did something where we lost money on it, but we just created a really great experience? Yeah, yeah. That I is mean, our goal. That's... That is sincerely. And we've talked to. We have other friends who may not be very visible parts of what we do, but let's say they're very influential people who are. Quiet, quiet. The, the the silent majority of weird things viewers. Yeah, and then people who are, let's say, have many many resources and things like that, and might be involved in things you're, you've seen. Yeah, uh, big, famous big, things, big, but they just sort of they're down low. But they're uh, yeah, uh, he's like, a man who's like, literally created miracles. Yes. So we've got we've got friends and stuff who would love to get part of that. So that's part of what we want to do. We want to make this bigger. And again. You know what? Like it's if if you can support it, great. If you can't, don't worry. You're gonna be part of it. You're gonna be part of it no matter what. We're gonna try to create ways for you to be part of it. We wanna encourage more weird things get togethers locally. We just wanna make this bigger and better. We're looking for a way to make that happen. And put Spiro and with a fudge on the force full time. Uh, yeah. 
I, I know there's a lot of people that are listening to this that, you know, they, they support Night Attack. They support Daily Tech News Show. They, they support the Morning Stream. A lot of other stuff that we are on. Cord Killers. Uh, just understand that, like, if, like, th this is just, you know, for whoever might want to support the Weird Things podcast. And if that's you guys, that's really rad. We're very, very excited to have you. And uh, if, if it's not and, you, and you're, you're giving stuff to other stuff, then those are those other projects. And that's really, really rad. You know, we just want to give the biggest opportunity for everybody to support exactly what they want. Yeah. Because it turns out there's people that like the show that hate all of the other stuff you and I do, Justin. Oh, Understandably. God. Yeah. <laughs> like they don't care about boner comedy or cord killing or, <laughs> or tech news. They, they're here for goblin talk, you know? And if you were just, you're like, listen, I like my goblin talk slightly irreverent, but also very hard hitting and persistent. Then this is where you come and this is the, pa the Patreon that you can support. Support? So support. So support. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a sport. Uh, speaking of sport, I'm ready, to, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to get weird, gentlemen. Let's go. All right, I'm trying to log into my Patreon here so I can uh, support here. Are you too. trying to support our own show? Are you trying to support it? <laughs> I'm surprised to support it. But I'll say support it you later. got some support in the doom. <laughs> Spry support. All right. Spiro. Duh. And the fudge. Fudge. Remember little fudge. Yeah, uh, he's around here somewhere, uh, which my favorite gift I've ever been given at Dragon Con was somebody's it's, uh, cosplay. It's uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, uh, little, little fudge. Little fudge. Well, I just little... as fudge, I really, I've never really cottoned to it. I, 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 I don't understand why you're so intimidated. It's, it's got Hello Kitty stickers on it, and it's, it's a tribute to it's you. It's weird. It's weird, Spiro. Uh, it's, a nice, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's named after me. I uh, well, so uh, fudge. What do you think that says about you, or what do you think it's you saying about it? I, I just. I mean, I'm not trying to step on anybody's fun. Obviously, you're having a lot of uh, fun with this, Spiro. It's just makes me a little uneasy. Well, That's I, it. Okay, look. Uh, bros sometimes solve crimes together, and other More bros... police officers. So we should be solving uh, crimes together. Yeah, yeah. It's literally our job. <laughs> and, and, and sometimes bros will have nightsticks, and sometimes they name nightsticks. Sometimes they decorate them with Hello Kitty stickers. And sometimes they name them... Uh, wait, oh wait, you think this is about you? You think it's named Little Fudge just because you're the fudge? Oh, come on. Really? I mean, that's my name, right? <laughs> yeah. It's not? Ah. Oh, I see. It's all about you. So when I, when, I, when, I, when I buy fudge squares, that's about you, too. When I, when I use <laughs> a euphemism... It's all about the fudge. Wow. All okay. right. I got to put you guys out on a mission here. All right. Good. All right. We're ready that's to sign. I mean, at least we can focus on a mission. I mean, that's what I'm very excited about. Is Let's just eyes forward, Spiro. Let's solve the case. Man. I'm going to tell you right now it's a rescue mission. <laughs> Good. But great. We love that's, rescuing. Uh, a lot of time pressure. You know, we can really just dig into it and not talk about anything else. Where would you, where would you see this rescue mission taking place? I mean, it's got to be something's on fire, right? Maybe out in the, the Kansas Plains, there's a twister that's caught fire, and it's uh, spreading fire across the land, right? That's, no. Uh, I, I'm already no. halfway no, that's down wrong. the 10. That is wrong, Brian. Mm. Excuse me, Spiro. Spiro. Uh, 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 all right. How about it's a sinking boat, and uh, we need to rescue everybody off the sinking boat. Don't get boat too specific there. Let's just go location. Uh, the ocean. I, the, the ocean. ocean. Very good, gentlemen. We solved the case. Good job, the sea. Fudge. We're at sea. We're in a rescue. <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, so what? Well, Can you give us some details on the rescue here? No, I, I don't even know that. Uh, we could suss them out. Come on, the fudge. Or um, unless you just want me to talk to my nightstick, little. Fudge. Uh, all right, all right, fine. Uh, I mean, I guess if it's a rescue, it's in the ocean. Then it's probably on on a, a, a boat. Yeah, or a barge, uh, or, or 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 an oil platform. Those or, uh, I hear people need rescue from those the sometimes. Yeah, they're um, making some assumptions there. Is it, uh, is it? Is it? Well, first of all, are we are we saving people? You're saving a person. A person. Okay, so it's not like we're saving them money. We're we're saving their lives, right? It doesn't You're happen to be Wayne Newton on his sinking yacht, is it? <laughs> Boat sank, baby. Yes. You're saving their life. 
Uh, okay, so we're saving their life. Um, Wayne Newton. We can cross off Wayne Newton. They're, 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 they're out at sea, I assume. Um, yes, that would explain at, the ocean part. Are they, are they close to land? Uh, they're with, with, ways out. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are, are, we, are we saving? Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm, I'm smelling... Fudge, get over here. Sidebar. You're smelling right. fudge. Yeah. Did uh, not fudge, need to know fudge. that. Shh, real quick. Yeah. Uh, uh, fudge. Uh -huh. I was watching the news the other day. Okay. Tom Brokaw was yeah. talking about the Ebola. And oh. I heard there was a person that had the Ebola and was on a boat. And we have a mystery where we have to solve, we have to save one person and they're at sea. I think uh -uh. it might be that one person that, that might be quarantined with the Ebola. Uh, so, um... I don't want to go. <laughs> well, first of all, let's find out if we're what are right. You, a New York hospital worker. Uh, what is it? Hey, yeah, uh, I would prefer to. I mean, listen, uh, I don't want to be callow here, or callous, but like, uh, you know, problem kind of solves itself here, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, one guy with a deadly disease out in the middle of the ocean. Okay, uh, well, well, you know, time heals all wounds. Well, for, first of all, is this a? Uh, hey, uh, Andrew, are, are are we gonna save a person that might have Ebola? They do not have Ebola. You might think they have Ebola, though. <laughs> <laughs> On first glance, you might be like, Ebola would explain a lot. Uh, okay. So what are some of the symptoms of Ebola? The, a lot of uh, puking and pooping, right? The two Ps, yeah. They, they all Which got... You just get described a college hangover. <laughs> but no. Um, I wouldn't say that's necessarily what would you would describe as the symptoms of Ebola? You jump to a conclusion there, fudge, so bad fudge. Bad, bad but fudge. I would just say, like, it would, if you saw the situation, you might think Ebola. So, but okay, so, so uh, first of all, it's is on a boat. Is he wearing and I got Ebola and all I got was this stupid T-shirt? Like, No, but you're closer than I could tell you, but it's going to only lead you astray, so well, forget well, you said anything. I mean, first of all, they're on a boat, right? And there's one person that would, would if we were to, first of all, they're on a boat, right? I, are they? I didn't know that they were. Oh, dang it. Okay, wherever they are. Are they on an oil I, platform? I, 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 uh, yeah, they're out at sea somewhere. I feel like we need to evaluate, like, what is it we see? Where? where Take us to. I'll just give it to you. Yeah, I'll just tell you exactly what you see. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, no, we can we, uh, fudge. We can solve this. The mystery. I don't of know. I'm really. I, I. You guys have lost your edge. No. Hey. Hey. Whoa. 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 I. Just, I should just give it out right now. I'm just going. Oh, all right, guys. I, this listen. is. Well, number one, you gotta. Uh, all right. DM. Calm down. We're gonna figure this out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. All right. You have a guy. He's uh, uh, possibly has Ebola, Ebola question mark. Uh, does not have Ebola. Does not have Ebola. Have Ebola. You might think he has Ebola. Uh, somebody uh, gravely Spiro. ill. Gravely Spiro. ill. Why would you think somebody had Ebola? Uh, imagine you have Ebola. Act like you have Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> I regret making out with uh, that person from Dallas. <laughs> All right. Did they make out with a person from Dallas? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, okay. Are they? Um, uh, oh, is this the person on the on the cruise ship? Well, this is this is what I'm asking. Apparently not. Apparently that's not the case. A cruise ship would be what? A boat? No. Yes, it's not a boat. It's not a boat. Okay. Number one, dungeon master, don't act like you're above semantics in in like having <laughs> us say exactly the thing, but not in the right words, and then you reveal. But I would no, tell was, you. I would I give you a test. I would work with you. Uh, okay. So um, we're at sea. We encounter this person. I'm, I'm going to picture their, 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 do they look emaciated? What, 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 do, what do we see when we see this person? You see the person. They look emaciated. They look maybe disoriented, confused. confused yeah. Uh, are, are they by themselves or is there anyone else around? Let's They're by themselves. Okay, so not on a boat. I approach Amanda Bynes and I say, Calm down. We're almost positive you don't have Ebola. <laughs> uh, is, is this um? Uh, what kind of structure are we on? Is this an island or or um? I, I mean, it's obviously a, a platform. Is it an oil rig? Oh wait, uh, I, I mean, are they on an ice flow? What what temperature is it? In the Caribbean. Okay. All right. So it's warm. 
All right, I'm gonna let's. I'm gonna say that this person put themselves into the situation, and it might be one of those things where, had it played out differently, this would be this is awesome. The way it played out, it's a this is stupid. Oh no! So were, were they doing like a, a Yeti investigation? Is it, a, is it a like like one of those world record like distance kind of things? Like they tried to sail around they're, the world, or they're trying to set a record, all right? Uh oh, geez. Hey, let me put it this way, okay? When I heard about this, I'm like, oh, that's great, that's stupid, but that's great. I never would have thought of that in a million years, but I of all people should have thought of that. Oh, okay. Now you say they. So it sounds like we're not just looking at one person. No, here, it's right? one person. It's one person. Man. Okay. Uh, are, are they on an island? Tell me they're on an island, right? We got to rescue them no, from an island. they're not on an island. They're definitely not on an island, and they're not on a boat. So it's got to be some kind of strange craft. It's a, 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 a hot air balloon uh, that crashed in a blimp, uh, a plane, a drone. Um, a a, blimp. A, uh, a, Superman. <laughs> Superman. It's uh, it's uh, General Zod. Um, Silver Surfer. <laughs> Earth of the coming Galactus. Eater of worlds. Okay, okay, okay. Wh this person uh, was uh, was on a journey, right? Yes, on a journey. They were on a journey, um, and it was an uncon unconventional mode of transport, right? Yes. Okay, uh, 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 which is why it wasn't a plane. Uh, and it wasn't uh, it, uh, it, it wasn't oh a hot God. air balloon. I think I think I think the chat room might have spoiled it. I think that's it's why we should have a chat room for these things. Uh, I, wait, wait, oh. hold on. I, I, I don't know what it is. Um, uh, I still don't know. I haven't looked. I'm not looking. Right. Um, shoot. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't even know anything about it. And all I want to do is learn more now. Uh, okay. So it's not. It's not a hot air balloon. It's not a boat. It's not. Uh, 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 they, they're moving. <laughs> it's. It's. It's not a. Uh, uh, is it an air based? Uh, method of transport? Uh, uh, not in the technical way. No, it's not flying through the air, no. Okay, all right, all right. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I, wait, is, is this a homemade vessel? Or, or, or was this commissioned by, by somebody wealthy? Like, 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 is it well made? Like, if I looked at it, would, 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 it, would it be shabby? Or would it be like, oh, well, that's, that's well made? Uh, I don't, I think it's professionally made. Okay. So like 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 uh like like you could picture carbon fiber or something on it or I don't think it's quite that sophisticated. <laughs> okay, is it inflatable? Whatever it is. Yes. Okay, so it's inflatable, and uh, and and uh, uh, how big of a journey are we talking about? Is it is it uh, like like a hundred miles or or around the world? I think they are trying to go to the the Bahamas. Okay, from from the United States though, right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this journey. Uh, probably was idiotic, and it probably started from Florida. Am I right? Yes, that's where idiotic. Without idiotic. a doubt, that's <laughs> the, the, the soon to be to independent to okay. state of South Florida. It was trying to go to Bermuda, which to is like way the f out in the ocean, by the way. <laughs> so the Bahamas, the Bahamas sounded insane. Bermuda is even more stupid. I mean, yeah. What was just, was just to give you just to give you a sense, people take boats from Florida to many places in the Caribbean, you know, uh, especially Puerto Rico, Cuba, stuff like that. That's something that happens all the time. The Virgin Islands, Bermuda <laughs> so far. Okay. Uh, an unconventional craft made by, um, uh, how, how, how far out did this person uh, go before, before they ran out of, uh, before they, I guess they, they had radio contact and called for I, help? Maybe, they may have actually made it maybe like 70 miles or so. 70 miles? Is, is this a wind-powered device? Um, not intentionally. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> this is killing me. Um, okay, all I can think of is some kind of like, uh, yes. uh, uh, I'm going to give you a clue. Okay, all right. The person they rescued is an ultra marathoner. Oh, my God. There's a big I, clue there. Okay, so so it involved running then, whatever whatever the thing yes. was. Yes, it did. But it was in the Florida, water. Florida, how would you run from Florida to Bermuda? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, all right, in my mind, hold on, hold on. Uh, wait, 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 wait. 
They uh, in the Sky Mall catalog, they sell <laughs> those uh, giant inflatable hamster balls that you could ding, run ding. across. Wait, I got sh- one in my garage. Shut up! This is I a have thing? two of those actually. No way! <laughs> This guy, this guy got it. Oh my god! And somebody wrote in the chat room: Is this the dude who tried to run to Cuba on a ball, and that was retarded? And him going to Bermuda is that much more insane? It's a thousand miles from Miami to Bermuda. He was just gonna run a thousand miles. Hey, hey! Before, his name's Reza Bellucci. He was found a bit disoriented. Uh, uh, wait, they, eviscerated? Here, the Coast Guard first encountered Bellucci on Wednesday after receiving a report about a man in a bubble off the coast of Miami, disoriented and asking for directions to Bermuda. Wait, how did he, uh, like, uh, just, just running? Uh... Hey! Hey, you guys in the Boston Whaler! Which way to Bermuda? <laughs> Are you kidding that, me? Not since Bugs Bunny popped up in a random town and asked, you know, whether he took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. And something this insane been said to people. This is hey, amazing. The dude- carnival fantasy. Um, I'll trade you some protein bars for some fresh orange juice. <laughs> yeah, it does. It says he says uh, protein bars, bottled water, a GPS, and a satellite phone. Coast yeah, Guard. I think this guy's an idiot. Wait a minute. So it says uh, it says they conveyed the voyage's dangers and asked him, please quit the journey because you don't have enough supplies. But he wouldn't leave his vessel. His vessel, of course, being uh, I mean, this. OK, so. So there's got to be a certain amount of disregard that you have for yourself if you are a ultra marathon runner. Right. Like that, yes. that's kind of the mindset in general. Uh, but this is exceptionally stupid. Well, right, and plus, like, like they, they tried to pull him out, and he's like, forget it. I'm going to keep going. No, I'm a dream. Oh, dude, look at so this. So this looks like a little bit more specific than just a hamster ball. Uh, yeah, this thing, like, if you look at it, it's, it, it, it does look on purpose designed I, all the way to Bermuda. How are you going to find that? So it's like he's excited because he's figured so, out. Like the one he's in right now, you just saw, I have one of those. 70 nautical miles from so wait, Florida. With, with the paddle wheel stuff around it? No, the, fir- the li- next one that showed after that. The, the, oh, the okay. other one is the, the one where it's the, the inner one. It's the other one that when he was going across water. Uh, wow. This is amazing. I, 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 I got to t- Okay, so finally. Okay, it says here after he signaled for help. I mean, if you're the Coast Guard, pretty much you, you once you run into this guy... I mean, you don't leave. When, even though he t- says goodbye, I'm going to keep going. You're like, look, we're just going to be back oh, here in 20 minutes anyway, right? So Coast Guard's got, you know, they've got things, dude, borders to protect, people to save. And this, yeah, but, this. But, but, but you know you're going to come. Like, you can't be the guy. Yeah, but we'll be tomorrow. Across... We'll be four days from now. Do you, do you, do you spend, you know, $1,000 an hour cost to run those vessels to follow this guy around for the next three days and you've got to go back into a port? I mean, you have to uh, monitor him, right? Because you have to know the no, guy's just going to end up sinking or dying or whatever, but and you can't. You, you don't want that on your record. That, that you either like, you either if you de- if you determine that it's not seaworthy, you tow them back in, or you let them go <sighs> until they ask for help. Okay. Well, it says he signaled uh, for for help. I assume that uh, that, that he places a call. And they came to get him. Oh, wow. Uh this guy's my hero. <laughs> Like, I don't care. Because <laughs> think about it. If he had made it, that would have been amazing. Oh, I know. If he'd made it, but it was a thousand miles. <laughs> so I guess, and I don't know what, I'm trying to find it, but I think he might have circumnavigated Hawaii. The island of Hawaii. That was 250 miles that he did in In, his, in that day. same yeah, crazy vessel? In sh- basically right offshore. Uh... Man, that's... So, but, I mean, but just to give people a sense of how long that takes, he did a quarter of his his journey in a week. So he was looking at a month of running in the middle of the ocean. I uh... he had protein bars, Justin. Uh, what what what, what, the, 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 what kind of person? Uh, which, by the way, um, uh, I read Ultra Marathon Man. Um, uh, which was a very good book inside the mind of the kind of people who who does the who who do this kind of thing. Like uh, the, the guy, the guy was like the first to run to the South Pole and and 
you know, to, to do a 250 long marathon, uh, to, a 250 mile marathon. Um, uh, this is, uh, I'm looking at his Facebook page at facebook.com slash run with Reza, R E Z A. God, I mean, it's like, uh, God bless him, is all I got to say, right? I mean, an amazing story. I mean, this is, I wish I had half the, 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 the balls of this guy. It's, he's unreal. Well, 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 Spiro, uh, he doesn't have Ebola. But what can we what can we uh, advise uh, for for Reza uh, before we leave him in the middle of the ocean, uh, panting for breath? A- avoid swordfish. Uh, anything pokey. <laughs> <laughs> avoid sea urchins and swordfish. And uh, g- Godspeed, man. I say go for it. <laughs> Keep on trucking. So so he got he got brought back to Florida after his he he uh, rang for help for the Coast Guard. And, and being from Florida, that's punishment enough. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, breaking news. Second post from Reza says, Hello, friends. You may have seen news on my recent attempt to run to Bermuda. Just to clear up what happened, I was not asking for rescue. The transponder button was struck accidentally while receiving a gift from a passing fishing boat that had come up to speak with me. Once, Which, by the way, imagine you're just some guy... Uh, out shrimping, and you see this weird, like, uh, water-based UFO. It says, uh, uh, once the Coast Guard arrived, I had no choice but to leave my hydro bubble. I was airlifted to Air Station in Clearwater, Clearwater in Clearwater, Florida, where the doctors examined me and found me to be in perfect condition. I thank them for their service they provided. However, the bubble was destroyed when the same fishing boat tried to tow it to shore. My team's currently organizing to rebuild the hydropod. I'm praying and asking for donations. Oh, he's got his own Patreon. We'll forget that guy. Uh, <laughs> See how far that's at. Uh, his GoFundMe. Go is that? Actually, you know what? He's got twenty dollars of ten thousand. And so, what's our Patreon at right now? Uh, I think our Patreon is uh, just a few minutes into launching. We're at sixty-four dollars per oh, episode. Oh, eat it, Reza. <laughs> Well, I thought you were gonna say we can we can match we'll match funds for the first twenty dollars. That'll be the first place we spend uh, weird things money is to donate it to Reza. No, oh. and he's in Pompano Beach, Florida, man. That is we he have is, our, he's a local boy. Town. We have our own adventures, Bri. Uh, you you know you're right. We're, in fact, let's race him. Let's uh <laughs> let's, let's build. I, I'm saying I got two of these bubbles, Brian. Ah, uh, oh man, that's good. We'll kind of duct tape them together. One of us will make it. So where? Yeah, I think like this doesn't even. And granted, I mean, a part of the part of the point of the ultra marathon stuff is that they are doing the impossible and they relish doing the impossible. But this doesn't even seem like he gave himself a shot. I mean, it 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 it. Wait, you're saying it doesn't seem like he gave himself a shot? Well, I mean, like. You would think that there would be just, I mean, even more supplies. Like, I mean, he has uh, protein bars and water for a month at sea. Well, like, I, but but that's what when when you do that kind of stuff, like that's 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 what that's how they do, right? Like when they're running, like the only thing he needs is. I mean, here's the other thing though: is I don't think he recognizes just how treacherous the sea is. Full stop. I mean, <laughs> he would. It's, what? It's, it's, do you know why it's called Bermuda? Uh, why? Why? <laughs> It's part of the Bermuda Triangle, <laughs> not because of some magical things, but just it's really not a good area to go through. Man, I want to see that guy go down all the way, all the way Listen, to the Somali pirates. I'm the guy that scared my ninth grade history teacher because after he told us about the dude that tied all the balloons to the lawn chair to go float away, yeah. he caught me looking up the lift ratio of helium balloons and costing out my own chair. And he's <laughs> like, hmm. Maybe that was Beasley, by the way, Justin. And oh, really? Like, That's amazing. Uh, you know, the guy was da- that was dangerous, you know. And and I was asking questions about where to get helium. I'm like, no, no, you need a special license to get that. <laughs> That's amazing. So I scared my teachers. With so, I, you know what's weird about the the helium lawn chair guy? And I, it, it took me literally uh, like seven years to to have this thought. Was he he floated up with a bunch of balloons uh, uh, tied to a lawn chair, and he had a BB gun to shoot the balloons or whatever. And I'm like, why, why wouldn't you just un- untie them? 
or cut cut them off and let them go <laughs> go away. Like like uh, to to tie your ability to go down to to this uh, air pellet right. gun. <laughs> I I think that you're you're making a cognitive mistake here. <laughs> okay, sorry. If you think that tying a bunch of helium balloons to a chair and floating away is a good idea, the BB gun is probably the sanest idea you've ever had. <laughs> I guess. I think because they're probably in a net. My, my answer slowly... actually is I think they may have been in a big net, a mesh net. Oh, I'm going to have to find, I'm going to have to do an image search now. And a couple of people have done that. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do, we have another, uh, do we have another situation here? Uh, uh, we only really have... 13 minutes left. So, so you want to go, we'll, we'll do an abbreviated episode. Maybe we'll go into picks real quick. Picks, all right. Uh, speaking of which, I'll, I'll double down. I, I think I gave this as my pick last week, but I am nearing the end of playing uh, Far Cry 3, uh, which is so good. If you like first-person shooters, it's so well-balanced, and it, it encourages you to do stealthy things, and normally I'm just charge in and do the dumb thing, but it, it, it has caused even me to play it as a stealth game. Uh, but more importantly, uh, uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon will be next on my list. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but it looks awesome. It's like a post-apocalyptic uh, imagining of a 1980s uh, cartoon style uh, universe where it's like you got giant lizards shooting uh, uh, hot pink lasers out of their eyes. And uh, uh, you're, you're Rex Power Cult, and you've got to just, oh, it's amazing. It's, it, it looks amazing, and I can't wait to play it. I'm trying to pull up my recent watches. Like, I, I, will, I will do another mini plug again for Star Wars Rebels because I watched the last episode and enjoyed it. You can get the uh, Disney XD has an app, and it's for the Apple TV, iPhone. I'm pretty sure it's on Android, too. Where you can watch these episodes for free, actually before they air on television. So, we're Damn. checking out. Well, my and I, uh, also, um, uh, uh, it's amazing to see more and more people uh, relaxing that that whole like have to have cable authentication thing. Uh, uh, for example, Nick uh, Nickelodeon uh, Legend of Korra is is straight to uh, to the internet now. Yeah, I had to authorize this. Though. I need to make that clear. Okay, um, but. Uh, my big pick, my real big pick. Yep. The pick that I'm gonna pick right now. He's got a big pick. Uh, well, here, if you if you need to, I could play just a touch of the Blood Dragon official trailer, which is amazing. Just to back up my call. It starts off with all this VHS artifacting and in the middle of an ad, and then and then trans <laughs> jump straight into. Close the near future. The apocalypse has had an apocalypse. A rogue cyborg army is reshaping the world into cyber hell. And only one thing can stop them. Let's show them how cyber commandos get it done. Fuck force now, motherfucker! What? Whoops. <laughs> Predator handshake. I want them alive. From the toxic ashes of Vietnam War II, a new breed of renegade soldier is born. Part man, part machine. All Cyber Commando. Fuck you. Oh, wait, hold on. And then it starts cursing and gets all uh, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> I went back and I watched a movie the other day that I hadn't seen in years, probably at least 10 years. And I really enjoyed it. thought it was a really well put together film. Uh, the Firm. Oh, Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. uh, the, 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 based on the John Grisham book uh, where um, uh, uh, Tom Cruise realizes he's trapped working for... Don't tell him he's working for. Okay. Well, I mean, okay. Because yeah, that's part of the fun. Like, when, you, when I read the book, that mystery of what's going on there was really kind of cool. What's funny is I don't even remember who it is he finds out he's working for, but he finds out that he wants out, and it's more yes. difficult than he thought. He does want out. So anyhow, that, I believe, is still available on Netflix. So if you want to check that out and uh, also there's a credible bad guy with Wilford Brimley. I never. Oh, thought my God. He's great. You got Gene Hackman's in it. You've got just some great performances all around. Uh, Sidney Pollack directed it. He did kind of an interesting sort of take on it with this piano sort of score background. That's good. I think oh, let's see, if Rainmaker's up there, too, which. Uh, uh, no, Rainmaker is not available to stream there. But anyhow, uh, the firm is the firm is available. It's a really good. It's, you know, the legal thriller. There's really haven't been that many of them. It's sort of a. It's on the decline as far as films go, with a few exceptions. But I'd say go back and watch The Firm on Netflix. 
Right on. What about you, Justin? Yeah. Uh, so I haven't really done a whole lot of watching or nothing over the last week, but uh, I do know from our pal, the Dark Wizard, Dan Dirks, he just did a a, a bottom-up code rewrite on strophole.me. So now it is even strophole.me or uh, it looks the exact same, but it performs way better, especially scaling to mobile. Uh, it was always it had a weird scaling thing when you were trying to do stuff on your phone. Uh, now that is not the case. So uh, I want everybody to go ahead and take my straw poll. You just go to strawpoll.me slash two eight six seven five three five. Is straw poll awesome? And uh, yeah, it's yes, yes, and F word yes. <laughs> okay. uh, we need an update, Patreon update. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, 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 Patreon update, hit and refresh. Patreon.com slash weird things. There you go. $76 from 40, 40 patrons. People. 40 yes. people. Look Thank at you, that, man. Uh, wow, that's amazing. That's awfully fast, and I'm really excited that that's happening. Like in, in literally uh, 48 minutes, <laughs> we have 40 page. We are up to a, a little less than a Patreon, a patron a minute, or a second, rather, minute. But hello, I do math. <laughs> <laughs> what a minute. I'll take that all night long, man. Start. Fine. All day and all night. Uh, thanks to everybody contributing. Uh, we're really excited to make this a regular show. It's a grown-up gig, man. Four or five years of practice. I think we're ready to have a real-ass podcast. We didn't even know how long we've been doing it. We thought it was four we, years. It turns we out We were going longer. like we're writing copy like four years ago. We decided, and then we pull up artwork of the Houdini seance. Five years ago. <laughs> Half a decade ago, we began this journey. We're going to uh, find like some audio uploaded to a BBS in 1987. <laughs> of us not knowing it's each other. Maybe this, this child crying in the background. <laughs> Justin. Uh, so for everybody listening, I think uh, we're going to reunite at another point this week and do another uh, Halloween. Uh, Halloween edition. Yeah, special bonus live it's Halloween edition. Um, uh, the way the way uh, Andrew pitched it that I fell in love with immediately was a, uh, a, a Treehouse of Horrors type weird thing episode where we bring uh, tales of fancy, I assume, of things that either actually happened to us or might have happened to us. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I describe it as a haunted house for your ears, and uh, I, I have my own little, peri my, my, my horrific Cronenberg-esque real experience that happened. Yeah, no, Andrews is like a, a Eli Roth, Takeshi Maik, uh, you know, just brutality show of, uh, you know, it's interesting. You will, you will be, you will gasp, you will uh, grasp. They're like, why don't we do in this episode? I'm like, no, because we're going to need to warn people. Oh, it's wow. It's weird and gross. And mine, mine is definitely a tale of childhood horror. Uh, so, uh, everybody, hollow weird things this week. Hollow weird things. We do the new show? Oh, shall we show? the, uh, the, the uh, uh, For the, the audio listeners, which is all of you, because we haven't <laughs> gone live, uh, we haven't hit our goals yet, we realize that the Diamond Club symbol, for those of you guys familiar, does an amazing magic trick. Push. And becomes the weird things symbol. <laughs> Check that dub. Uh, you thank go. you guys so much uh, for for supporting us again. <laughs> Patreon.com slash weird things. And Andrew, there's only really one way that we can describe this episode. It's been awesome. Yep. Good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Save. Uh, right, sorry to, job, sorry to cut it. Sorry to cut it off. Uh, oh, I no. I just I got to do the weird I got to do the jury show before I, I'm doing a live stream at five. So yeah, we, when no, we, no problem, Killjoy McCoy. We had a <laughs> Killjoy McCoy. Uh, we uh, what are we calling this? Uh, Patriotastical. Patriotastical. I think it's getting the word out. It's <laughs> patreoncom slash weird things. Patreon. Dot com slash weird 43 things. and um like i love the people that go and put like they do the one cent pledge i genuinely love that because it's like it's hey i just want to show support and that means that means the world it does it does although, mean, although it does. let's face it the uh the two cents people are cooler than the one cent people. i like that i like that there's the, <laughs> the debate there but that means that i mean it's just it's <laughs> nice to know if it's just that thing because it's like you know, Lord knows we're at different points in our lives, you know, and different things and, you know, wanting to I support. Mean, but, yeah, it's like, it's like you, I don't know, electricity, 
getting these idiots to get a schedule to go do this on a regular basis. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, listen, it's it's amazing and, and it's it's the best. All right. I use the bathroom and then I'll be right back on Diamond Club TV for the jury podcast. So I'll see everybody watching in a few seconds. Oh, yeah. I'm Bye. about to upload this thing to a place and then also I got nothing. I got nothing. I got to eat noodle ramen here. at five o'clock. But other than that. And then uh, let me do this stuff. Do you, uh, do you have plans for this Halloween? Um, I don't know if I have plans specifically for. I've got, you know, Magic Castle always does some really cool stuff. So I'm going to go do the Magic Castle Halloween party. Mm -hmm. I went to a Halloween party last night, and it was funny because it was right off of Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. So picture this. I had, a, I had my Winter Soldier outfit, right? And so I'm like half in, half out. Right. I got Captain America, too. Um, and I, I'm getting out of the Uber, and I go step out to Hollywood Boulevard, and I got, like, I got the, the half of it down here tied around my waist. And then I'm like, I've always had this fear. Like, my worst fear in the world is, like, I'm, I'm down there all the time, is that I'm going to be the guy out there posing for photographs and intimidating people for money. Oh yeah, like uh, but, like uh, well, I don't want to. I don't know if they're homeless necessarily, but, but we need but, a donation. Yeah. Donation. You want a photo? It's donation. You know, we're sure, out here sure. for free, but you can only donation, right? Sure. So those scary people out there in costumes who are dressed, as, you know, they, like they came here with the dream, and then now they're, you know, they're they're overweight Spider Man standing on top of a trash can, and you're afraid he's going to fall down and hurt himself. Sure, sure. And I'm like, I'm walking. I'm like, man, like I could so easily be confused for that because it's still a week away from Halloween. I had this sort of shudder went through my body. That's amazing. Uh, uh, dude, uh, Winter Soldier, I watched again. That's a good, it's a good movie. It's a good, uh, oh. it's a good show. Dude, it's great. I love it. It's a great, it's a nice, tight, really, just really, really good to show that the, the what's it plot is still there, but everything else around the what's it plot is great, you know? Well, and, and, but, but also like, like the, uh, uh, oftentimes it's so painfully obvious that they're just trying to write an excuse for every superhero to take off their mask as fast as possible. Whereas this one gave a good reason for it, you know, like, like, uh, half the movie Steve Rogers spends out of costume. Yeah. And then eventually yeah but also to... like, yeah, Steve Rogers too is like, the, you know, he's never, it's not a secret identity too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, yeah, sure. But, um, uh, man, it was great. Uh, really enjoyed it. Um, that Ultron, that Ultron trailer. I, I think he's going to be the bad guy, Brian. The old, oh, you think Ultron's not good? I think he may be a bad guy. Mm. I sent Justin a text thought spoiler thing, which I can share with you offline. I don't want to ruin anything. I know that. Look, I, 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 to be honest, I don't even want to hear it. Cause it's like, you have a supernatural ability to, uh, like you made, you, you made that Babe Ruth called shot on uh on uh, uh was it super eight uh from just the teaser ad called up the cinematographer to super eight <laughs> shouted out what you th what you assumed the big spoiler at the end of the movie was and uh he acted like it was like you were wrong and crazy and leave him alone and then it turns out you're exactly right <laughs> and it wasn't it wasn't really i mean it was it wasn't it, knowing that would not have affected enjoyment of the movie at all but it was one of these like hey there's this thing you know thing <laughs> i noticed this shot it just seems like if there's going to be a question of where a thing would be it would be in yeah. that place it was water tower the super is like, like a water tower it's like the, like the water tower was like water tower like i guess that's where it's like it's hiding near there <laughs> <laughs> like damn it <laughs> and then sure enough that's exactly yeah, it. the whole ending just takes place in the water tower um yeah uh, all right. Well, hey, man, that uh, that episode's posted, and our Patreon is live. I can't believe it. I'm very excited. Our Patreon is right now up to, we've got 46 supporters right now. Heck, yeah, man. Look, that's huge. I'm I'm super stoked, and uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm excited to start treating it like a real-ass gig. Mm -hmm. All right.